this is Ravi. Uh, it's Wednesday, September 19th, 2018. And I met him as he was panhandling outside Stadium Skytrain. I just said hello and just wanted to chat with him a bit, especially regarding the, the social issues that are coming up in, in the neighborhood of Crosstown. So, Ravi, what is it? Um, how did you get on the street? Um, I came out here to Vancouver when I was 16 to learn street smarts, to learn the the street life and the way life really is mm -hmm. and uh, yeah I've been been a street kid ever since and how did you first get onto drugs oh um I was smoking weed and then a friend uh, basically I would just started smoking weed and then went to coke and then went to crystal meth acid, mushrooms, mm -hmm. and then heroin. I just started doing heroin in the last well, 2016. Right? So. And currently you said that you are homeless. Yeah, I've been homeless since I was 16, only because uh, I like the streets. I like meeting people. I like how people really are. Um, you meet the genuine person when, when you're a single person or a, uh, yeah you, you meet the real person basically when when you live off the street right so people are quite superficial when, when they don't understand right so. so what would you say how can we help someone in your situation who doesn't have a home but doesn't actually want to have a home how can we help you well uh, usually with with cash cash helps um, that or ask the person what they need for that moment or for the duration of whatever weather type of weather we have at that time. Would you like to get clean? No, 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 I'll die um, a drug user and a master of drugs and a god of drugs. I will never quit drugs. Would you like to have a job? Um, yes, if it was to work around my my injuries and my own lifestyle if it would work with me not against me and if the person can, of can the you not smoke I'm allergic to smoke really? yeah we'll, 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 we'll hurry up so so it, it's, a, it's a hard it's a hard thing to deal with now you've got a person who have you been diagnosed with any mental illnesses at all? Um, yes and no uh, the, what they call it, they call a marijuana psychosis, mm -hmm. but it's not. I have a brain injury. I was hit by a truck when I was three and a half years old, doing 90. Um, it had hit me in the head and killed me, and then basically I came back and lived my life. But um, what happened was, uh, what was the question? Um... What is it that you're going to be doing right now? Right now, some heroin, some heroin. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's basically, um, or fentanyl, it could be car fentanyl, it could be fentanyl, it could be heroin, it could be a mix of many things. But as it is right now, um, it looks like black to purple um, fentanyl. Yeah, it's fentanyl with a dash of car fentanyl and a dash of heroin. So. So where did you get that little tin? What little this? Yeah. You can get it at Insight or find it on the ground in Vancouver downtown area or any major drug using area of any city mm -hmm. or town or village. Yeah. But um, basically any um, harm reduction site, any uh, uh, pharmacy, hospital major hospital, major pharmacy, they'll have these supplies as a harm reduction kit. You usually get two to six rigs or 10 rigs, a few water, and the water, it looks, uh, these are the rigs, these are one cc rigs. Uh, they're the second largest um, disposable rig you can get. Um, besides that, um, there's a half cc, which is a 0.5 cc rig. Um, or syringe and that is a 
um, half the size of that, which is a 50 milliliters or micro milliliters, right? And um, basically, it's just it looks like that, right? Yep. After it's been packaged, but I've seen lots of those around. Yeah, but also the thing is to know about them is that you cannot 100% cannot get any disease no diseases none if you do not push the plunger if you get stabbed with it that's okay as long as you don't touch the plunger you touch the rig poke poke it out you're not going to get AIDS hepatitis nothing unless you touch the plunger touch the plunger then you're fucked simple as that but what if you get stabbed by it? Like, let's say you're cleaning some garbage and you get stabbed by the needle. It doesn't matter. Don't touch the plunge. Touch this part. If mm -hmm. you touch this part and pull it out, mm -hmm. the disease comes out with the rig. It will not stay in you. Mm -hmm. They're designed that way. Chemicals, bacteria, viruses are hyper smart. They helped create life. They, they're the first life. Micro, micronic, bacterial, viral, cells they're the first life first period they helped create all this they do designed you, help do you have any disease no i don't the only disease i have is hyper smartness of intelligent hyper intelligence of the brainial brain pan intelligent hyper whatever i want to get home See. anyways that was a water this is a water you this is, comes in uh a uh, harm reduction kit, right? Mm -hmm. Usually, usually about a quarter of the the thing full. The reason why they don't fill it all the way is because you do not need that much. Okay. And they're not meant to be saved. They're meant to be pack, repackaged and handed back to either the pharmacy or the hospital where you got them, only because they like to keep records and they recycle the plastic. Um, recycled. One like this would probably have a, a dot or something. The rigs themselves, um, right, right down here, right down here, besides the ML and the 100 units, mm -hmm. right down there, there is usually a dot or two dots mm -hmm. that indicates um, been recycled once or twice. Each dot is a, uh, a, a yeah a symbol for recycled, and uh, is also a um, a small dot is partial recycled or full recycled just in a minor way yeah basically you want to cook it up until there's no powder or residue anywhere throughout the bottom or the liquid itself mm -hmm. that means it's clean it's not a dirty dope if there's any residue within that liquid it means it's been handled by a hand of someone and that residue is from their hand, nothing else. Mm. Dope will not pick up stuff from the ground. It will not pick up stuff from anywhere. It is as it is for itself, unless it touches a hand, a, a human hand. Then it will grab stuff and take it with itself so that people like me know what and who has handled it and how for how long and what they have done to it it's like uh, chemical signatures for my synapse and my retinal uh, intake um, feed of the video feed of my brainial brain pan to register a certain chemical and implanted uh, micro dot uh, implantations of chemical and bacterial viral uh, signatures for um, for, for, for uh, further uh, studies to see what can boost it, what can neutralize it, what can save your lives basically in the end, like Narcan or other self-inducing self um, uh, chemicals that have no protection, I can create protection with that kind of stuff. So if you see how there's a little, little residue, yeah. like the, those little black dots, yeah. right? What the, that means, it's been handled, but very, very gently, right? Like it was probably a big boulder or a big rock 
that they handled and mm -hmm. therefore only a little bit of residue from their hands was taken and is focused into these black dots and literally heroin real heroin if if it um uh, it'll it'll show up with a uh, little little uh like chemical signatures of heat signatures the hotter you get it the more chemical stuff like that um these little little uh things pop out and now they won't be seen or pop out for everyone only chemists of true born chemists and that is a type of person and that stuff happens because your brain feeds into the universe and it shows you that stuff because god and other people need that kind of knowledge that you have and only you have but can only be produced by the visual effects of um, certain visual stuff, right? Okay. Um, I'm taking my track now, huh? And then I'm gonna put this, never ever use the same rig you draw up with, only because it becomes very dull and um, you do not want to take any dull instrument and jab your arm with it, it hurts like a son of a bitch. Now, I personally um, put the plunger back in and then pull it out like that, mm -hmm. only because it it spreads the oils from the from the producer or the, the manufacturer company that they put in here, the natural oils that they have for, yeah. for lubrication, um, I, it helps to spread it and um, this, the plunger won't get stuck, right? Yeah. If, if you do that, it, if you don't do that, it could get stuck. There's like a 15% chance of it happening mm -hmm. and it might clog um, with a 20 to 18% chance of it actual clogging um, the, the needle 